Good morning. Let me turn you guys up. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to the Phyllis Morning Show. We are having confessions and conversations about your everyday life. My name is Yonitra Jojo Waddell, the only Live Past Crazy Special, so what better place to be than here with me. It is going to be a great day. It is going to be an amazing Tuesday, as you can see. We're in a different location this morning. <laughs> Don't ask. It's been a heck of a morning. But good morning, everybody. Thank you, Miss Valerie, for sharing. I greatly appreciate. I greatly, greatly appreciate you. Um, um, today's quote, and I'm going to be real quick today. Today's quote is something just for me. With the new day comes new strength and new thoughts and that's by Eleanor Roosevelt with a new day comes new strength and new thoughts great morning Miss Valley and our friend Margaret talked about my friend coach Reed yesterday in the video that she shared which was all you know I needed that little pep and that little pick me up on yesterday because I was thank was frustrated. fresh yeah I was a little frustrated because you know in this business world as you're working your business it can get lonely it can get aggravating it can get frustrating and even though you have your purpose partners it's still double that you want to you know have that extra support and so coach Reed's video really helped me out yesterday um and reminded me that uh, the reason that I am my sister's keeper and that we do have to ask for help we do have to ask for things and it was everything that I needed on yesterday. With the new day comes new strength and new thoughts. So on this thankful Tuesday. No, no. Not thankful Tuesday. <laughs> what is the day? What is the day? Take action Tuesday. Come new strength and new thoughts. So that reminded me of. So you guys know I've been talking about the freedom and asking for things here and, you know, looking for things here. So with the new day comes new strength and new thoughts. It And then Coach Reed's video last night. Um, good morning, Miss Margaret. Um, thank you for talking about her yesterday and, and listening to the show last night because it was something I really I needed for myself because I am my sister's keeper. And sometimes I get so caught up that I forget to ask for help. And I just assume people know that I need it. And so with this women's retreat coming up August 23rd through the 25th, uh, Margaret is my helper, but we definitely need more help to help sell the tickets to help fill the seats as uh, Coach Reed was talking about it. And then the, the new strength and the new thoughts um, for today is that I'm not meant to do it alone. And uh, if you guys know Margaret, she has um, changed the world tribe. I have, I am my sister's keeper. And even though we may, the lion's roar may have fallen on us and we may be the leader for our family, like we cannot do, we absolutely can't do it alone. And then it's the collective voices that is going to make a difference, that's going to make a change. Um, Cause yesterday I was like, I don't want to be the lion. <laughs> I don't want to be the lion, but the lion's roar has fallen upon me. And I had to remind myself of that. And it renewed my strength, it renewed my thoughts that even though the frustrating things may come or I may be aggravated and frustrated about that, it does not change my purpose. It does not change what I'm supposed to do. It doesn't change who I am. It doesn't change anything. It simply settles the fact that you are, that I am my sister's keeper. It settles the fact that this is what I'm supposed to do. It settles the fact that I may not want to be the lion, but the lion's roar has fallen upon me. And y'all, the more I talk about that, and if y'all missed that show, that was two weeks ago. Please go back and, and check that out. Where we talked about how we may not want to be the change our family sees. We Not even that, we may not want to do the work that is required for the change that we want to see in our family, in our communities. Like we didn't ask to be the leader. We didn't ask to be the front. We didn't ask to be the outspoken one. We're not at, we, we were not asked for any of it. We didn't want to be the lion, but the lion's roar has fallen upon us. That means we may not want to do it, but you are now charged with making it happen. Um, 
And every morning I'm reminded of that. I'm reminded that my whisper that will not leave me alone is still there. And that my whisper is now a shout. And that I have now got to live my whisper out loud. And my whisper is, I am my sister's keeper. My whisper is, I am that safe place for somebody who may need it. My whisper is, I am the difference that my family needs to see. And y'all know last week I talked about, you know how I used to say, who am I? I'm just JoJo from North Carolina. I'm just, you know, who am I just working from McDonald's? I'm no longer going to say that. I am JoJo that worked at McDonald's. I am JoJo from Far City. I am those things which make me who I am, which makes me uh, stronger to do the things that I need to do. With new day comes new strength and new thoughts. And that's our quote for today by Eleanor Roosevelt. And so today I'm more energized. I'm more um, focused and more excited about what I have to do. Again, I may not have really signed up to do the things that I'm set out to do. It doesn't matter because the lion's roar has fallen upon me. That means, right, Margaret, I'm not getting out of it, and it's not going to leave me alone. Just like it's not going to leave you alone, that whisper that you hear, the change that you know you need to see, that you keep hearing in your ear, is never going to go away, period. It is you that's going to make that change. It is me that's going to help my mother. It is me that's going to, good morning, my friend, good morning, Kiva. It is me that's, it is me that's going to do all of those things, and for me, the sooner I accept that, the sooner I can settle and rest in my strength and be at ease with my power, the easier it's going to be for this thing to flow and for me to accomplish the thing which I will sit here to accomplish. The more I fight it, the more I say I can't, the more I question why I am, the harder the process is going to be. And who is that fair to? As my man Grant Cardone says, it, you're doing more damage by not living great and not living true to who you are. You're doing more damage by forcing yourself into a smaller version of you. You're doing more damage by not doing the things you're supposed to do for your family. You're doing more damage by not realizing that you are great, that you are the leader for your family. Because the more you stuff yourself down, and that's why we, it's hard. That, and I had to figure that out for myself. That's why it was hard for me to do the things that I wanted, the, the things that I thought I wanted to do because they were too small and I was meant to do something up here. But because I was trying to force myself into this, it is in direct conflict of who I'm supposed to be. And so that's why things are hard. That's why we can't figure it out. Good morning. <clears throat> that's why we have difficulties explaining what we need and what we want. That's why we can't put our finger on the relationships that we're seeking. That's why we have all of these issues. It's be maybe it's because we are trying to fit ourselves into a smaller version of who we're supposed to be. We do more damage there because now I'm damaging my children. I'm damaging relationships. I'm damaging friendships because they need me to be at my greatest and not live to my smallest. And my children are watching me dumb down. My children are watching me force myself into a box that I don't belong in. But because I don't want to hurt everybody else's feelings, guilty because I don't want to hurt everybody else's feelings to say, hey, this is what I'm really supposed to be doing because I don't want to leave y'all and I don't want to hurt your feelings and say, well, I'm not better than you here. I'm going to say right here with you to show, they show you that I'm not better than you. That's not the point. The point is we're all the same. And the point is the more I stay here with you, the more I'm hurting you because I'm the person that's supposed to show you the difference. And show you the way. And the sooner I become at ease with my strength and rest in my power of understanding that's what I'm supposed to be doing, the sooner it's going to become easier for the both of us. I'm living in direct conflict of, of who I say I want to be and the things I say I want to do. The more I'm forcing myself to be smaller. It, it wasn't meant to be that way. But because I don't want to hurt somebody's feelings and I'm trying to accommodate their mental and 
we're not on the same level and we're not meant to be. Somebody has got to be here so that they can help somebody here. And then when they help them here, then they go back and, they, and, it, and it becomes a give and take. That made me cry. It becomes a give and take. But if I'm being selfish, if I'm going to be selfish, y'all, and live small because I'm being selfish if I don't live true to myself. I'm being selfish if, if I continue to sit myself in this box. I'm being selfish because you are desiring more from me. The good Lord is desiring more from me. and But you just don't know how to tell me the more that you need. But I know. But because I think I'm hurting your feelings, I'm, I'm forcing myself in there. That's me being selfish and not giving you what you need because I want to stay here with you. Sometimes... I'm not meant to stay with you. I'm meant to go ahead and make a way and make a path so that I can come back and I can get you, my sister, because I am my sister's keeper, so I can then show you the way. I just got all of that for myself. All of that for myself. Right. And if I stay here with you, I, I'm not going to have anything to give you. I'm not because I'm so focused on being small and I'm so focused on not hurting your feelings I'm negating what I'm supposed to be doing and that's where the conflict comes in that's why I can't sleep that's why I'm not eating that's why I gained the weight that's why I got the stress on my shoulders that's why I have the headaches that's why I got the stomach problems that's why I have all of this because I'm doing more damage to me and to you staying here when I'm supposed to be there right and am I really protecting myself or I'm really hurting myself? When the new day comes, new, with the new day comes new strength and new thoughts. And that's Eleanor Roosevelt. Yes, he is. Our God is a big God. And, he, and there are some people whose whisper will never be a roar. It is then when they get together and all the whispers make the collective roar. Your roar doesn't have to be loud. Your roar simply has to be a statement. And my statement is, I am my sister's keeper. My roar says, here am I, where are you? That means, here I am, my sister. Where are you so that I can come and find you and then show you the way? But if I don't know that I'm here, if I don't know where I am, I can't come and get you. And I can't figure out where I am if I insist on staying where you are somebody has got to break that mold. Somebody has got to move outside of it. Somebody's got to do something different. If we all going to be complacent and stay in the same place, guess what happens? Nobody gets anywhere. Right? It, and it's a daily, please understand it's a daily struggle. But I am my sister's keeper. I will have this sister retreat August 23rd through the 25th. For my friends, I will be reaching out to you so that we can sell these tickets, so that we can get people at that retreat, so that we can help our sister because we are a sister's keeper. And together with Margaret, we will change this world. There's not an option for that not to happen. It's not. Period. Somebody, what's my quote? I'm not even at home. Somebody's waiting for me to move. They will not move until I move. And I'm moving because if I stay here, I'm doing more damage. And there will be more sisters retreats. August 23rd will not be the last, period. It may be the first, but it will not be the last because my whisper will not leave me alone. It will not. It wakes me up at night. It keeps me going during the day. When I want to leave this, when I want to leave this, it's the thing that says, if you just hold on a few minutes, this is another stepping stone. A to the man. Thank you, Miss Daisy. I'm just saying, y'all, I am my sister's keeper. With the new day comes new strength and new thoughts. Today we have new strength. Today I have new thoughts. I can't do this alone. I am my sister's keeper. And just like I am, you guys are my sister's keeper. You are my keeper as well. That's why I can call on my friends. I can call on my sisters to do the things that I need help with. 
So this sister retreat will happen August 23rd through 25th. If you are my friend, you will get an email and or text and or both from me because we will so we will change some women's lives at this retreat. Period. It's not negotiable. It's, there's no going back. It will happen. It will may be the first, but it will not be the last. And Florida will not be the only location. We will be moving and we will be going. Period. I cannot continue to live small if I want to be my sister's keeper because my sisters are depending on me. And I cannot go and make a path if I'm staying with you. If you're depending on me, that means I got to go. I got to go and I got to make a way. Period. And if I don't go and I don't make a way, then am I really being my sister's keeper? Am I really doing the things that I say I want to do for my sisters? No. So we're doing more damage by living small than we are living great and being amazing. Yes, Michael. Good morning, Michael. We're doing more damage by living less than than we are by living great. You may think you're helping your friends and family by, and here's the thing, this is what I had to get over. Georgia, you're not better than anybody else. Nope, yeah, you're not better than anybody else. But it is you that's going to help everybody else. And so because you're going to help everybody else, you can't, you got to go and make the way and then come back and show them the way. If you don't go, it, the conflict is going to be overwhelming. If I continue to force myself here, it's going to eat me alive. It's going to eat me alive. I may not have wanted to be the lion, but the lion's roar has fallen upon me. I cannot not do it. Period. The whisper will not leave me alone. I've got to live this whisper out loud. And my whisper is, I am my sister's keeper. Period. This girlfriend's, um, this live past crazy uh, girlfriend's retreat will happen August 23rd through the 25th. bit.ly forward slash uh, girlfriend's weekend retreat 2019. I'll post the link when I get off of here. We have early bird tickets. We have regular tickets. We will sell out this event and there will be more. Period. I, I cannot, with the new day comes new strength and new thoughts. I cannot be bound by what I thought yesterday. The strength that I had yesterday, I can only move forward. And in my moving forward, I've got to rest in my strength and be at ease with my power. It was given to me for a reason. It doesn't make me any different than anybody. It doesn't make me better than anybody. It, I simply understand that is my job to do. And the more I become at ease with that, the better everybody's going to be. Right. Thank you, Michael. Let me tell you, my brother. I appreciate that. I can't. Because I can't tell you how to live past crazy if I'm not living it. I can't tell you the five steps to live past crazy if, I, if I'm not doing it every day. So how am I going to help my sister if I'm, if I'm in it with her every day? Somebody has got to break away and lead the way. Somebody. And you know it's you when it won't leave you alone. It wakes you up at night. When you're at work, it's the thing that keeps you going. It's, it's in the back of your mind. It's constant. The sister retreat will happen August 23rd through the 25th in Clearwater, Florida. Thank you, Margaret, for being my sister's keeper to help me. If you are my friend or if you are my associate, you will be getting a message from Facebook email, text message, and we're going to sell this out, Coach Reed. Um, and if you guys missed the show yesterday, I posted on my page, go watch her replay. And it talks about the connections that we have and the people that we have and why are we struggling. And I am my sister's keeper. I cannot do it alone. Period. Period. I cannot. So on this the Take action Tuesday. With the new day comes new strength and new thoughts. Be encouraged that it is you. Rest in your strength. Be at ease with your power. And know absolutely that it's you 
that has got to make the change. You cannot help your sister. And for Michael being a resident man, you cannot help your brother being on the same level. I can't. You can't. You got to go here and then come back. Because somebody, I'm from the country. So, you know, you ever been walking through the woods? You try to go through the brush. Somebody has got to go first and cut the brush down to make the path, to make the way. And that, my sister and my brothers, is what we have to do. And we've got to be okay with that. With the new day comes new strength and new thoughts by Miss Eleanor Roosevelt. That is the thought of the day. Um, and that is the fearless thought of the day. Quote and the fearless thought all in one. So I hope this has helped somebody. It has truly helped me. I said this would be quick because as you can see, I'm already at work. And there's a quote right here. Some of the most amazing experiences happen after things didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. Rest is going to be okay. It's going to be okay. We will change the world. I am my sister's keeper. We will sell out this event, and there will be more than one sister retreat. And Florida will only be one of the locations. There will be more. I am learning to be at ease with my strength and resting in my power. A to the men, Miss Day. A to the men. A to the men. And we're going to make it happen. I am my sister's keeper. My sisters, if you need me, I am your safe place. I am your space giver. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. I am your safe place and your space giver. Your space giver to share and your safe place to know that you can share without judgment. And this is the place where you can go and be great and be amazing. And I am here for all things you. That's what I'm here for. And I can't be my sister's keeper if I keep living small. If we keep eating ourselves, if we keep killing ourselves slowly every day because we think we are making it better for the next person so that they don't feel awkward because we are trying to live great. We're making it worse. We're making it so much worse. Oh my God, I'm making it so much worse. They need me to be different. My sister, they need you to be different. They need absolutely desire for you to be different so that they know that if JoJo can do it, they can do it. That's who I am. I'm JoJo from Forest City. I'm JoJo from the Country Union Mills. I'm JoJo who used to swing from the trees. I'm JoJo who was the biggest tall boy. Used to play football with all the boys in the community. I'm that JoJo. And if I keep living small, I'm doing more damage than good. And I've got to be the change my family wants to see. I have to. It is me. I may not want to be the lion, but the lion's roar has fell upon me. Period. And so the more you become at ease with your strength and resting in your power, the less conflict there's going to be and the more change you're going to be able to do. Period. But if you insist on staying there with your sister and your brother on the same level, you're hindering them more than you're hurt helping them. Stop being selfish. Go be great. Now is not the time for negotiation. Now is not the time to be like, well, JoJo, I don't know. Period. Go be great. Your family's depending on you. I know generations of Twitties, Waddells are depending on me and Withrows are depending on me. I got three names resting on my shoulders. You think I got time? I don't, I don't have time. I don't have time to be anything but up here. But we're so used to asking here and accepting here. And we're too afraid to ask for here. So my sisters, I will be reaching out to you to help sell these tickets for the Girlfriends Retreat, August 23rd through 25th. We will change lives. I invite you to come because it will be life changing. We will learn how to live past crazy and we will walk out of there free past all of that. A to the man. So, the fearless quote of the day, with the new day comes new strength and new thoughts. That's by Eleanor Roosevelt. 
I hope this has helped somebody. It has helped me tremendously this morning. If your friends and family do not have Facebook, don't forget we have a YouTube channel with over 400 shows over there. You can binge watch all of them. Pick it by topic, by title, whatever, and watch. I suggest you go watch um, The Lion's Roar, that one. Okay, I cried a little bit, but it's really, it's really good. And you'll understand the quote, I'm, I'm not the lion, but the lion's roar has fell upon me. The Girlfriend's Retreat, I will post that shortly as soon as we get off of here. Do not forget bit.ly Waddell Speaks. The book tour, the first day of the book tour is July 27th in Tampa, Florida. If you want to order, pre-order your book, bit.ly forward slash book tour 2019 and you can grab it. I cannot be my sister's keeper if I keep forcing myself into smaller. I cannot be. You're doing more damage by living smaller than living great and being great. You're doing more damage by eating yourself. And, and it's so selfish to think that I can help my sister by sitting beside her. My sister needs me to go and make a way. And once I make the way, then the path is clearer and it's easier for her to follow the steps. I can't show you how to live past crazy if I mean crazy with you. And that's selfish of me to think that if I stay here with you, I'm helping you. I may not be the, want to be the lion, but the lion's roar has fallen upon me. And I've got to live this whisper out loud. And my roar is my statement is I am my sister's keeper. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for sharing the show. If your friends and family don't have Facebook, don't forget to go to the YouTube channel. And then if you guys missed Coach Reed's video yesterday, I posted on my page. Oh, hey, Coach Reed. I was just talking about you earlier. I posted her video, and my friend Margaret watched her video yesterday, and her show was about that, that we are connected. And I cannot be my sister's keeper. Margaret cannot change the world if we're not willing to help each other. There will be more Live Past Crazy Girlfriends Retreat, period. Florida will not be the last. It may be the first. It will not be the last. And we will be our sister's keeper. Period. All day. Every day. Go to livepastcrazy.com. You can grab your I Am My Sister Keepers t-shirt. Um, you can grab the book over there. The book's on sale for $9.99. Um, if your friends and family do not have Facebook, don't forget to go to the YouTube channel. Over 400 shows over there. They are by topic and by title. And I suggest watching I'm Not the Lion, but the lion's roar has fell upon me. We may not have wanted this to be the difference maker in our family, but it's on you, my sister. It's never going to, it's not going to leave you alone, period. It's not. It never will. The whisper will keep you up at night, and eventually you will have to live that whisper out loud, and your shout will become a roar, and your roar is your statement, and my statement is... I am my sister's keeper. So the quote for the day, with the new day comes new strength and new thoughts. And that's by Eleanor Roosevelt. So on this Take Action Tuesday, be your sister's keeper. Reach out to a sister and ask her, how can you help her on this day? Sometimes that's all. And if you're my friend, you know you've gotten those texts where I've said, how can I be your friend today? And I have meant that with my everything. How can I be your friend today? Because sometimes I don't want to reach out and ask you. I need somebody. I need to know that I, somebody's thinking about me and how they can help me instead of the other way around. So be your sister's keeper today. So I hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday. And I will see you here bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good one.